Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to three TCG Pokeball tins left to open. Today, we're gonna do a good old classic in the luxury ball. Let's hit it. Alright guys, here we have it. Here is the luxury ball. Nice, pretty, honestly the weakest of the three ball tins if I'm gonna lie, or the three remaining. It has an extra, and we'll see whether we can get it on the camera, it's got this extra white sort of lines around it. Obviously it makes sense for the actual luxury ball, but they didn't paint these on, they're actually made of plastic. So, in my opinion, the weakest of the ball tins so far, just because it has this extra outer layer to it that kind of makes it a little bit more flimsy than the rest of them. Still a really cool looking Pokeball though. Obviously, we're going to be rocking three packs from it. We have, in order here, a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion with Kartana on it. We have a Sun and Moon Guardian Rising with Lycanroc Midnight Form on it. And we have a Sun and Moon Guardian Rising with a Lolan Ninetales on it. So those are the three packs we're going to be doing. Let's get into the first one right now. Alright, there you go. There's the card camera. Let me cry and crack this pack open. Nice and slow. Oop, I already fucked up the open. Not even gonna lie. Straight down the middle. It went the long way of the pack. It did miserable. It's awful. We hate to see it. It looks bad. It's just a just a big screw up. Take our digital card out. Save that for later. Make sure you guys are checking out. If you want to try and get one of these digital codes, make sure you come check out our Twitch streams. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday out on twitch.tv slash prettypinkpony. All right, now we're gonna cut from the back. One, two, three, and four. Shove them to the front. And our first of this pack right here is gonna be our lovely Fairy-type energy. I love the Fairy-type coloring there. It's a good, like, shade of magenta pink. Next up, we have a Chinchino. Look at that adorable Chinchino. It's running Amazing, Amazing Plea? Yeah, Amazing Plea. I should have read it before I put it down there. That would have been smart. Next up, we have the peeking red card, allowing you peek at your opponent's hand. I guess that might be useful. I really don't know. Again, not a TCG player. It's okay though. Ooh, we got a we got an interesting card here. We have whether you like the eastern or western version, we have the double gastrodon card there, looking really sweet. Both Gastrodons on it, both able to evolve from the previous Shellos version. Really cool card overall. I like it. Next up, we have my boy Starly. Super strong. Love Staraptor. Love the whole comp related to that team. Miss that bird very much. Bring it into Sword and Shield. Next up, we have the Skidoo. Oh, blue Skidoo. We can too. Kind of a dumb Pokemon, not gonna lie. Shh, don't tell anybody you said that. I love you, Nintendo. Next up, we got our boy, the Mythical Legend Pikachu. Love it. Love that, dude. Next up, we have a bit of a creepier one. We have Alolan Geodude. It's just kind of dark and creepy looking in there. I'm not gonna lie. Followed up shortly by another creepy one. We've got the Creepy Mistrevis. Look at the Mistrevis. Look at how creepy that is right there. It's dark, it's looming, it looks like it's gonna steal your soul. And it's not even known to do that. Next up, we have a Reverse Hollow of one of my favorite Pokemon right here. We have the Reverse Hollow Mamoswine. I kind of wish they'd put Ice Typing into the TCG. I'm not going to lie. Mamoswine's an Ice Type. He's nothing to do with water. But, super strong Pokemon. Obviously, running that Forceful Tackle and Double Stomp. And finally, we have our end card. Our big boy. Let's see it. It's a standard Crawdon. No Hollow in this one, regrettably. Standard Crawdon is in the back for us. Still a pretty cool Pokemon overall, but we love that reverse hollow memo that was in the back. We'll leave that right up there for a nice hot second. Get you guys one good look at it. Alright, next up we have the... Holding the wrong card pack. Now I'm throwing it on the floor. Alright, next up we have the Sun and Moon Guardian Rising with the... I almost said a Lolan. With the Lycanroc Midnight form on it. Let's see if I can open this pack correctly. Oh, it's a good start. It's an okay start, actually. I got the top part to slightly rip in the right direction. Slightly. I was able to get one side open. Oh. Oh. Uh. 
Ah, oh, we got it. We got it. Let me slide them out really quick. Look at that beautiful, beautiful coverage. Still kept everything in the core nice and safely. All right, digital card as usual. Over on the side, count one, two, three, and four. Slide them to the front, and we start with a grass energy card. Grass, my favorite typing for the TCG just because the green colors in it. It looks beautiful. Love those greens. First up, we have... God, we're starting creepy. We're doing creepy cards this time, guys. First up, we have Gotharita for the cards. All of the psychic types and the ghost types so far have looked rather creepy. Next up, we have a Komala. Komala looking sleepy, tired, but adorable. We've got the Rescue Stretcher. We're going to have to put me on one of those come the end of these. Next up, we have our favorite egg, Chansey. Lovely nursing Pokemon as it is. Then we have our boy Petil, Petlil. I never can pronounce this Pokemon correct. Oh well, I like Lilligant better, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, we have the mascot of twitch.tv slash pretty big pony. We got Trubbish and the Trash Pandas. Love it, love Trubbish, love Garbodor. Great set, it's me, your trash pile. Next up, we've got the Machop. Give him the chop. Standard nice mod chop right there. We have, yet again, another Alolan Geodude. This time, less creepy looking. More standard, more nice. I appreciate that fact. Following that up, we have our Reverse Hollow in Whalmer. Look at that Whalmer. It looks so happy out in the water right now. It looks so beautiful. It's spout, little spout getting off some water there. Lovely Reverse Hollow there. Splash does damage. That's the important thing here. Splash, 30 damage. Pretty strong for a whale. And finally, in the back, we have our holographic card. Hopefully, we have holographic Delmize. Look at that underwater coverage there. That is a beautiful hollow. Obviously looking really strong in the water. Looking like it's next to a shipwreck. I love it. I love every moment of that holographic right there. Super great hollow. Very beautiful looking in the water. Finally, in the back, we have our final card pack. Another Sun and Moon Guardian Rising with a Lowland Ninetales on the back. Let's see what we get in this one. First off, I'm going to try and not screw up the opening. I feel like I'm going to. It, it's, it's, it's really uh, putting up a fight right now, I'm not going to lie. It, it clearly sees that I don't want it to uh, rip, and it is purposefully fighting me. Oop, there we go. We got the left side again. We got the left side perfectly. I'm not even going to remove the cards. I'm going to show you guys this one first. Look at the beautiful cut. Look at that. Came apart perfectly right at the end. All right. Here come the cards. There's the perfect pack. We went two for three this time. We're going to take the digital, set it to the side, and do our final one, two, three, and four straight to the front, flip it over, and start off with a water type energy. Good pickup, considering we got a lot of water types in the previous two packs. First up, we got our fake tree. We got Pseudo Wudo. Another rescue stretcher coming in next for us. Obviously, clearly needs to put me out in a stretcher and get me to the hospital. Next up, we got our boy Watchhog looking at the ground, staring down, giving you that nice side profile. Next up, we have the equivalent of Gavin Free. We have a nose pass. Hopefully, you Rooster Teeth fans out there get that joke. Next up, we have the most adorable looking pair of testicles ever we got a cast form he looks adorable but those are seriously testicles on the bottom of them we're not lying to one another next up we have our little spooky boy we got phantom and even the surprise mimikyu in the back there looking prime with its friend i love that love that artwork right there it looks adorable under that blood moon following that we've got our favorite bird from gen 3 we have a tailo nice simple tailo well, uh, the whale is back. We got another whale mark, just a standard one this time. Looking cute in the water. Same set as before. Well, uh, RT crew, I hope you enjoyed the first joke because after that we have a reverse hollow Provo Pass. Gavin Free coming back again, big in, bringing that big nose and his other little noses with him. And finally, in the back, our final card for the luxury ball, we have. A regular or a choreo. Nothing extreme out of that one, just a reverse hollow probo pass in the back. 
All right, we're going to do one more run through of our hollows and reverse hollows just to make sure you guys got a nice shot of them. First off, we have reverse hollow probo pass looking really strong there. That nose is prominent. And then we have our holographic Delmise looking great. That undersea venture. It's even got a little bit of the rainbow behind him that I like. Following shortly with that is our reverse hollow Wilmer that we saw earlier and its regular counterpart from the last pack. And finally, wrapping up the hollows for this time, we have reverse hollow Mamo Swine looking like it's ready to stomp you in. Guys, that is it. We are down to two balls left. Two blue balls. Ha ha ha. We're down to the great ball and the quick ball that just actually arrived not a day ago at my house. Obviously, let me know in the comments below which one you want to be left for last and which one you want to open next. We will do two more openings for this series and then have every one of the ball tins for the TCG so far to this date. Hope you guys all enjoyed. As per usual, make sure that you're clicking the subscribe button up here. I've reversed them now. And then make sure you're checking out our previous videos over here. We'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.